Hello. I want to talk about the Me Too movement. Um, I feel like um, these days, a lot of these guys are out here just doing whatever they want to do and um, doing this with this one and that one. They're not in like relationships or slash they are in relationships and they're straight up cheating on their girl with the other girl because it's easy and the at least it's, it's, it's just getting out of control and the thing is the girls are starting to say okay I got something for y'all I'm gonna use the me too movement on y'all okay so what's happening now is <sighs> baby mamas girlfriends ex number twos all these chicks are starting to say okay oh, oh you breaking out with me after one night or whatever, I'm going to say you rape me. Or I'm going to say whatever it takes to ruin your life just because you peed me off, okay? Now, um, the Malka's cousin situation, I already did a video when it happened, but I had to redo it. So I'm doing it now, and it's going to be mixed with um, Antonio Brown. So right now, it's the Antonio Brown situation is more of... I feel this is what I feel because like I'm a woman and I've been through all kind of different stuff. I have not been through nobody forcibly putting me down, blah, you know, taking me, you know, pinning me down, all this stuff she's saying. But I also, but the point is this: I have been in a situation where I'm like, I really want you to suffer, but I was like, mm, it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? But these days it's like I'm putting my, I'm putting my my whole reputation. These women like they're putting their whole reputation on saying dudes are doing rapes, uh, abuse, punch him in my eye, he threw me, he threw me in the thing, and da, da, da. this is what I'm saying, this is my point, 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 this is my point, most of y'all women are out here, y'all already know these dudes have a reputation of whatever the reputation is, that's one thing, long time ago, when I knew of the reputation prior to dealing with these dudes, I'm like, I'm not dealing with him because he does this, 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 and this, and I don't like that. So, me as a woman knew, it's like, I was young then, I'm 38 now. At that, this was years ago when I was thinking this, though, by the way, and I was in my 20s or younger. Oh, he, oh, he tells, if he do something with you, he gonna tell. This was way a long time ago. He, oh, if this dude do something with you, he gonna tell. So, my thought was, I ain't messing with him because if I do decide to do anything with this dude, whatever I would decide, I don't want nobody to tell it. And this was before the damn YouTubes and the the blasting and the videos and all that. My one rule was to myself is I'm not about to get with the main one that's trying to blast me because he going to be talking about it. And everybody else going to be talking about it because I remember hearing rumors about certain girls. I remember these girls to this day. The rumors and what happened and this and that. I, and this was junior high school and all. I remember at pretty much every rumor I heard about every girl. And that's a long time ago. Over 20 years ago. And I still remember. That's my point. So even then I was like, you know what? He cute and all that. But um, uh-uh. Not doing it. Because I feel like sometimes we can also protect ourselves from these dudes. Before it even gets to the point where they're pinning us down in the room and doing this and that. Now, as far as Antonio Brown, all this stuff going on right now, and 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 out, and this is what 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 how I'm looking at it. He's going through his career situation. He's going through stuff, and as we know lately, every time the dudes be going through some bad times and stuff going down, he go to chicks with the oh yeah, and by the way, he raped me. He punched me in the eye. He did this. He did that. And I'm like, damn, dog, like. Nigga made you that mad where you about to ruin this dude's career because two, three years ago, he, you saying he raped you. And by the way, she went back and worked for him after said rape. Okay, like, girl, first of all, if I know he's an aggressive person, you shouldn't even be dealing with him on that level anyway. Now, if you his trainer, okay, fine. I'm going I'm to train him or whatever. If you see him being aggressive, the first thing you should not do 
is be in that type of relationship with him where he gets to the point where he can touch you in that way. You don't be alone with that kind of dude. You always be in a room with a dude like that. I'm always in a room. If I'm around people in general, I always had that thought, like, I'm going to be in a room with a person if I feel threatened. Or oh, I'm just not going to be in a room. So it just feels like, I'm not trying to say she's, I'm not trying to just blame victims in this and that. I've been abused before. I've been that abused, but I ain't been like sexual abuse. But... But at the same time, if I, when you think about it, you could be like, I think about like, you could, there's a lot of stuff you could protect yourself from ahead before it happened. Now, my situation, I wasn't, I didn't know the person was abusive before I got in a relationship, so that's different for me on that situation. But once I found out and I let that person go, that was it from there. You're done, the end. Don't even think, don't even try. Bye. Zero. Bye. You're done. Okay, but my point is this for her, why would you? He, you say he did you something, fine. File a criminal um, charge on this dude, first of all. We ain't about to be... I, screw the money. Money, if you have that many scars, ma'am, from whatever he did, criminal charges is the way to go. Okay? You sound... You making it seem like it's a feeling of money. That's just how you making me feel. And I'm a chick. Okay? It seems like it's about money to me. And I'm a chick. Uh, so, and when you go that route first, it makes me feel like that. And there's less to prove when you're going with, uh, civil suits. Criminal suits, you have more to prove. Civil suits, you can just kind of like, um, say, oh, he did this and I'm hurt and you get money. And that's kind of that. But my thing is, if I'm hurt, I don't give damn, I don't give a damn about no money. You going to jail. Okay. Whatever. But I'm not going, the first thing I'm, we hearing about it. Oh, Two years later, and after you went back to work for him, after he did the first assault, like, girl, like, I, I can't, I'm just tired of these chicks ruining these dudes' lives. And after they didn't put themselves in a bad position once, two times, three, and four. And I'm just tired of hearing it. And I'm not saying if you, she really was abused, like, abused her some more by saying what I'm saying. And my point is we also have to be smart and protect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? If you knew he had a, a record of doing that, especially if he did it to you, why would you put yourself in a position to be with him again? Why would you even be in a run with him alone? Money, my butt. You, I don't, I'm not working for you no more. I'm one of them type of people. I do things for my comfort. Money don't matter to me. I would be, I quit a job so fast and love that job. When you pee me off, I'm out of here. The end. Bye. I'll figure it out. Money don't buy me for me. For me, I have to feel good about what I'm doing. Secondly, the mother's cousin's going, his his career going down the tubes. Here we go with the baby mama. Bam, he get hurt soon. Not be, um, the girl, yeah, yeah, the baby mama situation. She, she's not bringing, letting the baby come to the, to the, uh, the wedding. Okay, first of all, the mother's. Okay, you're not gonna die. Nobody's gonna die because your baby not coming to the, um, wedding okay as long as you and your wife there that's the only pe two people that matters in the world okay if nobody else come nobody else come sometimes children miss stuff i have a child that been then away from me over 10 years she have missed so much but i could i had to get to the point in my life like you know what i'm not about to be fussing with nobody over no no child that's gonna probably forget everything that did that didn't happen my child was at my my wedding my uh 2008 wedding she was five she probably don't remember that she remember the pictures that's it i'm not about to be Threatening nobody. Come on, dudes. Be smart. Don't threaten nobody these days on the phone knowing these chicks be out here videoing everything. You know you have a bad temper. Come on. Be self-aware. Have some self-awareness. You know you have a bad temper. You know she ticks you off. You know how you get when she tick you off. She know that. That's why she had the tape recorder ready for you. So the thing is, Demarcus, you should not be threatening her at all first of all and then you should know common sense she got video some kind of way she, she might be videoing me so let me just shut on up and just be like whatever okay I, i'm mad but whatever moving on you got married you're happy with your wife that's all she sounds jealous mad about whatever fine let her be mad over there on the circle over there in the whole world if you would have just said okay whatever I deal with this after the wedding and, and got off the phone she would have been having a stupid look on her face with a little tape recorder Okay, that's how you handle people like that. Because she was waiting for you, bro. Come on now, y'all. We gotta be, we all have to be smart. Dudes and chicks, we have to all be smart. You know what I'm saying? That's all I have to say today. Um, I'll do another video another time. Um, have a great day. See you next time.